Hi, I'm Karen Grete from Scandinavian Today. We are getting closer to the holidays and in front of me I have the four Advents candles on the Advents wreath or in Danish it's called Adventskrantz. And I'm going to light the first candle and of course when I light, when the day comes that I can light the fourth candle, we are close to Christmas. I'm going to make Risengrød, a traditional dish for the holidays. Here I have the rice, I have the milk, and I'm going to show you how I make it. I'm now going to cook the rice, and first I'm going to pour two cups of water and let it boil. And after it's boiled, it's boiling, I'm going to add a cup of rice. The rice I have already rinsed in cold water, so it's clean because I'm going to make risengrød. Now I can add it to the water. And I'm going to keep an eye on the rice. Uh, I will stir it, uh, keep stirring it. And when it's boiling completely, I'm going to add the milk. The water is boiling now and I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes uh, under lid. And I'm going to turn down the heat. So I'm going to cook it on lo at low heat for about 10 minutes. And after that I add the 4 cups of milk. Almost all the water has been absorbed by the rice now, so it's time to add the milk. And of course you want to stir a little bit to make sure it doesn't burn at the bottom. So here we are adding two cups of milk and another two cups of milk. So now I want to have it boiling and I keep stirring and after it starts to boil I turn down the heat at a very low heat and I put on the cover but you might want to stir in between. Now the milk is boiling, so I turn it down to a very low flame and I put on the lid and I will let it cook for about 25 minutes. 25 to 40 minutes. You want to check on it after 25 minutes. My rice porridge is cooked. It's firm and of course in Danish it's called risengrød and I'm ready to eat it. And I want to tell you a little story about Risengrød. When I was a child, we always celebrated Christmas with my grandparents on the island moon. They had a big farm. And my grandmother would always put rice porridge in the attic for the little Nisse. And uh, of course, uh, I have my suspicion that probably it was the cats that ate all the uh, rice porridge. But anyway, that was a tradition and she did it every single year on the 24th in the evening. And also, you might have heard of, uh, of a Danish song. It uh, sounds like this. And I'm not singing anymore. But anyway, it means in the attic, the elf is sitting with his Christmas pudding. And now I'm going to serve it. So I serve it in a Royal Copenhagen plate. And as you can tell, it's warm Risengrød or rice porridge. Okay, then I'm going to sprinkle cinnamon sugar on it. Like that, here we are. And of course in the center, I need some butter to melt, which is really tasty. And the tradition is to eat Risengrød with a drink to the, I mean, the tradition is to drink either beer and of course you want to have a non-alcoholic beer with your Risengrød or you can use black currant juice or red currant juice. Any of it tastes really good, so I'm going to taste my Risengrød. Mm-hmm. It's still kind of warm, but yes, I like it. Hopefully you will also enjoy it and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.